Whoops. Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. Yellow leader, it seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Oh my god, the timing! Oh! Whoops! <laughs> um... Very sorry about that. I do kinda have in mind all the have things before... Um... <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh, <laughs> um, that's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. Uh-oh. That didn't work so well. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Very nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're not joking at all. Holy crap. <laughs> I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. Um. Oh, whoa. What did I just do? How is it possible to do what I just did? I have no idea where this is going to take me, but I have a feeling it might be a station or the Nexus. What? No, I think we're going to go with Galaxy unless Defiant is... Actually, Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the galaxy, though. That looks good to me. Uh, 
Okay. Harold is beating me for Suzerain of Laventa. Irritating. You know, I'll work on Stockholm. He can have Laventa. Jump down quite that far. This is the end. Oh, reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Wow, proceed mobilizing now. That was brutal. Holy crap. Careful. What's the hold? I forgot the grease is flammable. Stop these. Oh, whoops. A little before that. Whoa. Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. My battle droids, you're in some sort of discharge loop. If I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. Well, I guess we should help them out. Yes, yes, I knew I liked this fella the minute I saw him. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I'll take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. <laughs> I uh, really appreciate Got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. It seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. You got five great balls from Blue. It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. Oh, you son of a... I did not mean for this to get... They're not kidding. This is much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh. 
Ugh. That was atrocious. Wow. Looks like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. Hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh, wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much for that. I've been Rimworld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um I <laughs> Well, crap. Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. Oh, you. No, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, you don't. I'm so freaking close. And you're a damn ape. Oh my god, you're so close. <laughs> First Apex Guild. I realized that when we went to Winterhold and I finally got my room at the college, and I. What the hell is. That's so cool. Looks like we've maybe got three left. Did I say three? I meant two. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Visual on the uh, if I had to hazard time. a guess, based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Look at that. Holy crap, it looks so nice. might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Another step. Um. 
Steady. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Um... What? Art <laughs> that, that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. Oh, oh boy. Oh, sorry, guard. I hope they're not hostile now. Ah, uh, crap. What? No! 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 Ah! That's so rude. Oh my god, they just- Oh god! <laughs> and it's on fire!
She's just silly and forgets to wait till she's done sometimes. Oh no. Ah, okay. This is a dinosaur being transported to the bed already. Library of Lore, I am thrilled to announce we have a brand new tier 2 subscriber. What the heck, Aaron Lore? 61 months. That's insanity. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh. Why are you out of supplies? What's this? Back up. Why are you using fuel? You don't need to be using fuel. There's nothing here that's deprived by not having you active. Sometimes this game drives me crazy, I swear. Treatment complete. Ready for transport. Where do you live? What kind of dino are you? Pachycephalosaurus, do they live in here? Yes, you do. Collecting asset. The T-Rexes are tranked as usual. Oh, actually, that's a question. How old are the T-Rexes? Ooh, we're getting there. Shoot. They're 45. Man, time passes fast in these games. 45 of 66. That means I need to get off my butt and get some expeditions so that we can replace some fossils and get the genomes of some Rexes. Do we have the carnivore stuff that we need? Uh, we need to get this one for the T-Rex. We should be able to do carnivore four. Oh, you need a break. What do we need, 12 science? There we go. A moment, please. Someone has gone above and beyond and subscribed at tier two. Halera, make sure to note this in the ledger, please. Holy crap, and Sara, 47 freaking months. Thank you so much. Happy prime number. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is a prime number. Damn. You cannot, Sketchy, no. Which is weird to me. You would think having a living specimen would be better than digging up bones from the ground from millions and millions of years ago, but... No, you cannot. Oh, we have my... Okay, so they're ready for incubation. Uh, staff are busy. That's okay. The staff are busy with important things. Oh my god, not this again. I swear I'm going to ban all backup generators. Asset delivery confirmed. Dino Land is being Dino Land. We've already had uh, an injury so far today. But nobody's died yet. So that's a plus. Let's actually take a better look at how Dino Land is, actually. Hmm. 
Guest comfort, 95%. Restroom coverage. There's room for improvement there, although it's overall pretty decent. Shelter coverage, also a little room for improvement there. Park desires, dinosaur infamy, tours, and lagoons. You know, it would be pretty fun to do a lagoon. I think we have some work to do before we're able to actually do that, though. Now, does our current tour route take us... Yes, it does. Okay. So it does go right by the T-Rex enclosure. I can't really guarantee anyone be able to actually see anything. But it goes right by. Is there a tour group on the loose at the moment? Yes, there is. Ah, Carnivorous 4. Excellent. Another step closer to being able to replace or expand on the number of T-Rexes we've got. Now we need to rest somebody because someone was right on the edge. Yeah, Azaju. All you folks can rest. While you're doing that, I might as well get an expedition in the air. Let's work on our Triceratops. If the ones we have are made from partial ones of the ones that were lost years ago, wouldn't it be random for the missing percentage of the genome that we do have? In reality, yes. In the game, no. In the game, you can keep working at fossil sites until you exhaust all of them, at which point you will have 100% of the dinosaur you are looking for. A moment, please. Someone has gone above and beyond and subscribed at tier 2. Halera, make sure to note this in the ledger, please. Tagarong, thank you so heckin' much for 61 freaking months. That's amazing. And we actually talked about this a little bit last night. Time may, in fact, genuinely actually be an illusion. There is speculation and apparently some evidence running around scientific circles that time might not actually exist. Only causality exists. Oh, let's not leave the game on pause. It works better when it's not paused. Then we've also got some fossils. I think all of my staff are busy, aren't they? But we can still sell these. Yep, sketchy. Of course, the definition of causality might have to be rewritten a little bit since the current definition that I'm familiar with is kind of dependent on time as a, you know, a, a, as a factor. So they're saying fate is real. Uh, no. That's not what they're saying. They're saying that causality is real. If you pick up a hammer and you smack your knee with it, your knee will hurt. 
that's causality. That's not fate. Okay, we need three sciences, so you two can do it while Carrasco joins the others on a bit of a break. Uh, thank you for the hydrate. I have to just sip that time. The uh, tea is very hot. Okay, let's see. Still got these guys waiting. But a bunch of our scientists are off of their breaks now. Weak, weak, and skittish. I guess... Oh, I'd already decided they were okay. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Let's do this. Now, where was I going to put them? That's my next question. Will these guys deal with my Asara? They might be okay. Oh, they might not. I, oh no, that's Dr. Wu hybrids. I'm not entirely certain. Uh, hang on. Let's check the database. Where's my Asaras? This is the encyclopedia. Give me all the good info, not just... Uh. Damn it. I want a handy central resource, not just a Wikipedia article. Oh, I think actually, was I not setting this up? This was going to be for the MySRs. I remember now. Patriotic, how are you doing? It's good to see you. New complete genome triceratops. Excellent. Birthday ideas. Is your birthday coming up? That is really cool. What have you thought of so far? The 
Okay, let's have a look at those weak areas while we are waiting for the Myasars. We wanted to improve our restroom coverage a little bit. Yeah, we have a few red zones. And actually, I turned out not to need this area in here, close here, to use for the tour. So I'll just pop in a restroom there, and that will probably go a long way towards fixing that 95% coverage issue. And we can probably put in a few small amenities around here as well to improve our profitability. Mad, how's it going? It's a pretty good night so far. Really happy I can play this game again. I think me... Oh, you have a twin, Patriotic? That's awesome. I think me and my twin are going to hit a bar up after we go eat at a Mexican restaurant. Oh, man, I haven't had Mexican in a while. Though trying to figure something else out. Don't want to have to break diet if I don't have to. I'm on a little bit of a break tonight. I have... a drink... For the first time in a few months. Ah, the Myasaurs are ready. Excellent. Alright, Myasaurs. Let's... Oh, we need a view... Oh, God. I don't have this prepared at all. We have no water, we have no viewing gallery, we have nothing except a tour route. En route to pick up the asset. Picking up asset. Okay. We need to fix this. We're gonna do a cheap low cost fence. We're gonna come down here, we're gonna go in here. Get that cordoned off. Gonna demolish here and here. Build this right in here. Connect that up. Probably didn't need this. Chances are all of this will be done before the Myasaurs actually arrive, but just to be safe. A oh, nope, Canadian whiskey, actually. Crown Royal. I have a bottle of Irish whiskey for when I officially go off the diet, but um, I have no idea when that will be. There we go. So far, I'm finding the diet to be pretty effortless to maintain, and people are seeing the results more and more clearly, so I'm not in any big rush, really. Okay, now we need water. Got a little bit of a pond in for the uh, tour to wade over by. Uh, it's basically keto. Or, you know, at least the low-carb thing. Really, the biggest part of it is that about 75% of my diet right now, uh, just through my own habit more than any specific intention or requirement of the diet, I've been eating a lot of salads, so tons and tons, crap tons of spinach and not so much tomatoes because they've got sugar, but you know, bell peppers and snap peas and lots of stuff like that.
<laughs> no, they absolutely are not patriotic. They absolutely are not. They are fermented sugar. I mean, they're, it's not actual sugar, but it breaks down and there's sugar. And no, there's no such thing as keto-friendly alcohol that I've ever heard of. Okay, so they've got enough open space. They've got plenty of water. They need more population. They're looking for ground fiber and ground nut. We can do that. Okay, ground fiber, they got plenty. Okay, 31% of open space. We're gonna have to hope that as they discover more of their enclosure, that makes up enough of the difference. But now they're pretty good on ground fiber and ground knot, so we hopefully are okay. Yes, sketchy. All alcohol is basically sugar. You wouldn't if you wanted to actually get anywhere on the keto thing, Mr. Soggy Roman. Confirming asset delivery. They might end up getting their open space requirement. Might be a little close. Asset transported. Sugar-free rum sounds terrible. Transportation complete. Iguanodons. I don't have any iguanodons. Although I might have their genome. Come on, guys. Explore the edges. You've got more space available to you. So, 89%, they are comfortable. Rum is only like 95% sugar, yes. Yeah, the problem is not that they mix sugar into the alcohol. It's the chemical composition of it. There's an unavoidable amount of sugar in the thing. Or at least, you know, it's unavoidable to the best of my knowledge, anyway. Come on, guys. 51%, 55%, you're so close. Just keep going a little further out. Yes, that's a good way to put it, Mr. Soggy Ramen. The alcohol literally is the sugar.
Nope, they are Maya Zara. Says so right up here. Ninety-seven percent perfect. Oh, look at that! Look at that! And they still got a little bit of open space to discover. Now, okay, I'm gonna trust that they're gonna reach their threshold, but in the moment, I need another. There we go. Okay, now. Oh my freaking god, I just refilled you! I'm gonna. I swear I'm going to. I just did this one too. I. Ugh. Screw it. It's costing a freaking fortune and it's not necessary. Let, actually, let me verify that. Where's my power generation? I don't remember my whole layout here. Power, 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 power. Where might power be? That would be here. Excuse me. It's producing 60 power. And all 60 of it is unused. Two of them. I have two. Oh, actually. Oh, God. Okay. They, oh, they do have an. They do have a substation. Let me see if I can fix this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> have the cars go through the T-Rex pen. That would actually, you know, that, that would genuinely make the park more entertaining for adventure seekers. It would increase the dinosaurs' infamy when they attack and kill people in the cars, and that would draw more adventure-seeking tourists. Hmm. Okay. That actually did help. I think we might be all right now. Hopefully. <laughs> In the real world, certainly redaction time. Now, I was looking for my ranger teams. Ranger teams, where are you? That's medical. That's... Expeditions. Response facility. There we are. Okay, so they're going to be responsible for the Mayas as well, which means I should probably build a gate for the Mayas. There we go. The constant under threat thing? No. No, the... Um the adventure seeking people they like stuff down here like um 
Infamy. Wow, Infamy level zero? You're kidding. Oh, I guess they've never really had the opportunity to really eat people. Yeah. So if I were to increase the infamy of the dinosaurs, which I could do by popping some medium herbivores in here to be eaten by the T-Rexes, or, you know, maybe accidentally leaving the T-Rex pen open and having them eat a whole bunch of guests, that would increase their infamy and that would draw adventure seekers to the park. Drive fast enough and it can be under threat all the time until you run out of gas. Now, what do we need to get up to the T-Rex? Only research node can be pinned at a time. Okay, so we have to expand the park boundary first, but to get this one, we need a 3.5 park rating. And then we can see what our requirements would be. Okay, well, let's... Okay, we've got a little bit of a buffer. We can maybe... We need nine logistics. You guys can do that. So we will finally expand the boundaries of the park. And actually, you know, even if we can't necessarily get T-Rexes to replace the Rexes we've got now when they kick the bucket, that doesn't mean that we can't get something that would be pretty good. Chasmosaurus, Myasara, Triceratops, they're done. Dilos, no, that's not going to do it. Not sure what that guy is. Trudon. Carnot oh the car oh the Carnotaurus. They're not as you know, they're not as big a draw as the T Rex, obviously, but I really like the Carnotaurus. We're gonna go grab some of their DNA. And start working on them. So, have we already expanded our park boundary here? Yes, it does look like we have. So, this is our second expansion. So, that'll give us basically all this area here. It'll expand it further. That'll be cool. I don't know that I actually need the extra space, but I can probably find ways to make use of it. Not until we unlock them. What the research does when you research a new fossil group is it unlocks the sites that you go to to get those fossils. Until Jurassic Park San Diego. We really did bring it back from the brink. And the dinosaurs back from beyond it. There's still more to do if we're to see the facility at its peak. More land should help. I would think that more guests and more dinosaurs with a greater variety of species would work as well. Correct. Let's get our park rating up across the board. What do you think, Dr. Malcolm? Well, you know, Thomas Edison uh, once said that just because something doesn't go as planned doesn't mean that it's useless. And when it comes to Jurassic Park, that has surprisingly turned out to be true for now. So perhaps... What's been achieved in San Diego is a tribute to those who would never leave the island. A painful and tragic legacy, but one that would be the foundation of a world forever changed by resurrecting its past and then turning it into theme park attractions. <laughs> the fact that no one could have predicted that dinosaurs and humans would breathe the same air uh, 
gives me pause. <laughs> and it also... Uh, and it also makes me smile. I love the way he says that. Like he's kind of disgusted at himself for actually saying the words. I know they should be found across the country. Well, there's only one or two sites in the game represented, but yeah, they are in North America. I think they're up in Canada specifically. Not positive about that, but you do you you do find them once you've got that unlocked. Okay, so we still need that 3.5. We've gone up to 3.1. Now, how is our restroom coverage looking? Oh, you know what? We're very close to capacity. That means I probably need more hotels. Restroom coverage, much better. Shelter coverage is worse, oddly enough. I don't know how that happened. Oh, maybe that's why now there's guests using these paths more because of the Mayasars. Those are already large hotels. Interesting. Okay. Shelter coverage. Okay, that helped 95%. Yeah, I think we really need one here. No problem, Aaron Lord. Garlic bread is vital. Let's have a look. One hundred percent. Got it. Nailed it. I want to put two in one there. And one over here. I've never had garlic naan, so I have to go garlic bread by default. But garlic naan sounds delicious. I do like regular naan quite a bit. Restroom covered. 99, please. You're not going to give me the last 1%. Seriously. Okay, fine. You can have a freaking bathroom up here.
Okay, so let's see. Total dinosaur species, we need 10. We have 9, so that's not bad. Increase total dinosaurs to 40. We have 39. That's actually pretty impressive. Reach a park rating of four stars. Oh, God. Butter chicken's amazing. And now, speaking of things that are keto-friendly, butter chicken. That is keto-friendly. Garlic naan? Not so much. Garlic bread? Not so much. Butter chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Tikka masala is also pretty good. I love the masala sauce. Uh, okay, so I guess we're not actually waiting on anything, so maybe let's work through some of these fossils, especially since we've got new ones. Now, if I were to do Carnotaurus, where would I put Carnotaurus? I guess that's probably where I'd have to start using some of this territory back here. Unidentified dinosaur ailment. Okay, let's see what the vet comes up with. I don't want to see any crap like he ate a phone. You haven't had access to eating people in a while, if ever. Thirty-one visible dinosaurs, not bad, not bad. Hop on board for the fun Avian pox. Okay, how do we deal with this? Causes health loss and eventually death. This disease moves between dinosaurs through direct contact. Cause infection. We'd probably better nip this in the bud. Oh, shoot. Quarantine all dinosaurs with avian pox for 60 seconds. Crap. I don't suppose they're considered to be quarantined already, given the amount of separation. Uh, no, I guess not, because this enclosure is full of compies as well as the... Uh, I keep forgetting there's compies in here. The other T-Rex. Crap.
Okay, we're going to build a little hospital right back here. That works very well for humans. It works significantly less well for Tyrannosaurs. Six feet's not going to cut it, but their teeth very well might. Not sure what type of fencing that is. I just realized I'm going to be putting a T Rex in there. I probably don't want it to be a tier two. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. T-Rex likes sand. At least it seems to in this biome anyway. I'm probably going to have to make this bigger. sick T-Rex. That's you. There we go. He's not going to be terribly happy. Oh, he's going to need a feeder as well.
In what sense, Eleanor? I mean, it's not like the diseases are lining up asking permission and they're saying, yes, okay, you can infect our population. Ah, this is fine. The quarantine is working. We'll be able to... Oh, I'm gonna actually... <laughs> I am going to need... A gate in. It's been so long since they existed that any diseases should be completely gone at this point. But that does not mean that they are guaranteed to be immune to new ones. In fact, it's, uh, you know, it, it's probably pretty likely that they would be more susceptible to new ones than they would be to the ones from their own original time. Okay. It would be like a mammal disease affecting plants, except that dinosaurs are not that different from mammals. You know, relative to, say, plants. I mean, there are animals still alive, like crocodiles and alligators and crocodilians in general, that were around at the same time as dinosaurs, and dinosaurs do have living descendants. They have birds. Oh, we can do the thing now. Okay. I just need a vet unit. That's a ranger unit. We don't want a ranger unit. We want you. Wait, do I not have another hospital? I must have another hospital. You're kidding me. I don't have another hospital? Crap. Okay, fine. I'm building another hospital. Let's not also forget that these are not exactly the same dinosaurs that existed 65 million years ago and more, uh, and more than that. These are dinosaurs that have been brought back based on patchwork DNA, which has been mixed with the DNA of modern creatures, which may leave them susceptible to modern illnesses. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Now I need the ranger team. Damn it.
heading to collect the asset. There we go. Now our park rating is slipping. We used to be sitting at a comfortable 3.1, but now it looks like we've lost three stars entirely. So... Let's see, what could we do? Well, I did notice we were pretty much at our cap. One thing we could potentially do... Is obliterate this. Actually, I'll just move it. I don't need to obliterate it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Storm. I should probably open the shelters. Gentlemen, as a precautionary measure and for your safety, please proceed to your nearest shelter. No! What are you doing? Come on. There we go. All right, research time. Let's see what we can do. Infrastructure, injury treatment upgrades, cost upgrades, efficiency upgrades too. That's a good one to have, generally speaking. Oh, the Sachamimas. Those are fun to have. That's a whole different type. They're not carnivores technically. But they have a lot of the appeal of carnivores. They are piscivores. You have to give them a special feeder.
Anybody need... Uh, we do need assignments, actually. There. Since we've got them, might as well put them to good use. And since they've got available bandwidth... Oh. There we go. Fight record, one win. Oh, look at that. We regained our point one star. Oh no, diseased caused sandstorm. Lowers the dinosaur's max health and stamina caused by exposure to sandstorms. Non-fatal but requires medication. Take a photo of a dinosaur with coxididiomycosis. Wow, that's a mouthful. Holy crap, okay. We need a picture. Give me a ranger team. Now you know how Justin feels, I know. Go. Expedition complete. I kind of get the feeling I might be slightly late for a break.
Okay, the computer was quicker to dispatch it than I was. Wow, that... what? Done already? Damn. Nice. Alright, well, there we go. Fossil extraction is underway. Oh, uh, yes, the Carnotaurus and Majunkasaurus went well together, didn't they? I'm going to wait because the Faster Expeditions guy is currently doing the uh, work. But yeah, I feel bad every time Justin has to say something like that. Ah, such a Mimus. New viable genome. Very cool. It's our pathway tool. Nope. Wrong. Just kind of lay in the groundwork for some new enclosures. I'm thinking this might be the Suchamimus enclosure. You're playing some, uh, what's it called? Death Stranding, are you? Sleep sounds like a pretty good idea. There we go. Trying to achievement hunt and also all fin finish all of the standard orders on very hard. Oh, damn, Bob. Good luck with that. That sounds like fun, though. That sounds pretty cool. That's another game I need to get back into. We're so close to the end. Uh, 
Okay. Looks like our scientists are done with everything. Oops, not research yet. I think such a Mimus is definitely our next target genome. Oh, Otanez, you could use a break before we send you off for more crap. Most of it is just not damaging my cargo whilst in BT boss battles because you know I go through, not around. Fair. I've always found that going around is far more advantageous in the long run, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I could do a Carnotaurus Majungasaurus enclosure over here. That might be fun. For, you know, certain definitions of fun. Nope, nope, wrong, wrong, incorrect. But the achievement for that is, I think, like, get a lot of premium orders done per each order section and level it. Okay. That's fair. Well, you know, you do what you gotta do. Scientist recovery. Perfect. We're only at 63%. I'm sure we can do a lot better than that. Oh, this is actually good. I can reconfigure the park tour to give them a reasonable view of these enclosures. In fact, they might already be partially visible from the tour, so that's even better. I like getting likes from Sam. Yeah.
Okay, it's one o'clock in the morning. I really, really need to take that break. If you guys will bear with me, let me just save off here because I'm going to have to quit. I will be back in just a few minutes, so if you guys need to get up, get some food, get a snack, get a drink, use the facilities, any of that good stuff, make sure you go do that, and I will see you back here in just a few minutes. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and I'll get started. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Uh. Um, don't hunt Loki. Oh, my God, she. She hunted Locust and killed her. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. From me. The time has come. Execute order six seven. Yes, my lord. No, no, not sixty seven. Order sixty six. Execute order 66. Yay! Whoa. I have a bad feeling about this. Bobby, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there's more than one of them. <laughs> I think he, one of them just took a flying leap off that tower. <laughs> Okay, sir. This is actually pretty cool. Also a little bit terrifying. God, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. Well, that was the thing.
Hey, can you guys hang on there for just half a second? I have to scan this thing. You don't mind, right? No, it's not gonna let me. That's annoying. Priorities game, priorities. Wow, <laughs> they're not joking at all. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics rag dulling? Holy crap. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> uh, okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Serana. Oh my god. She made me fall through the floor. Okay, I'm back. Watch your ears, guys. We've got the universal thing. Just a moment. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you, Aranor. Okay. Once again, I'm reminded how much I love that it's called Dino S. I like to think that it's a custom fork of the Linux kernel or Linux kernel. All right, so why are you running low? You shouldn't be using power. Unless maybe I need another power substation, which actually wouldn't surprise me all that much. Let's build one. Thank you, Bob. Weirdest path in the history of the park, but there you go.
There we are. Unused power zero. Okay, now is everything done? Nope, that's not what I want. Not right this second anyway. Maybe I should deliver to the Titanfall farm and get some beer? Well, I mean, then you have to have beer, but, you know, you do you. can to finish off such a Mimus. When I do them, I want their genome to be 100%. And then we'll screw with it, modify it, make it our own. Your guests are complaining about the lack of space. Check the park rating screen to make sure they have enough room to shop at amenities comfortably. Oh, that's right. I did just build another large hotel, didn't I? Guest count, potential guests, path capacity. Oh, geez. Overcrowded guests. Okay, well, it hasn't gone up significantly, but that does maybe suggest a few areas of research that we can get into. Oh, that's fossils. We don't want fossils. Guest comfort. Where might you be? <clears throat> Ah, we need more staff. Oh, I already have one of those. I guess that's okay. I can have two. Two is good. So if you had to guess, Bob, how far through the game are you at this point? Two is double the fun. Yes, it is. Expedition's just about back. Just doing the post-game grind for achievements. Oh, okay, so you're not starting a new one or anything. And exploring the DC content. Just got a buddy bot to follow you. Nice. I remember the buddy bots. I remember that I actually found having them follow you around got really, really irritating, so I stopped doing it pretty much immediately. But that, I think, is purely a me thing. I can see the appeal if you don't happen to have my hang-ups about that stuff.
Rest up, sir. But for now, achievements? Yeah, well, th there's that too. If there were a particular reason that I wanted to have one hanging around, that would make for a much easier sell on my part. Hmm, I think we can do something with this. That's better. Ah, complete genome. Perfect. Perfect. Let's modify the genome first and foremost. We want random skin color and pattern color, even though we don't really have any other patterns. We want... <coughs> well, okay, we can't really do much about that, so we're probably going to have to leave that. Sociability. That one looks more severe. Let's maybe see if we can't do something about group adaptation. Okay, I need two more flasks. There. Now, we still have the problem of crowded amenities, so maybe what we should do... Let's have a look-see at placing some... Yeah, oh yeah, okay. This is for food. We need a dino burger location. Right there. There isn't one single food option that caters to both nature and luxury. <coughs> so we're going to stick with cheap burgers. With an aquarium. And a water feature. And then maybe an ice cream machine. There we go. We do not serve raw food in Jurassic Park. It's all grilled to perfection. Even the ice cream. Hmm. 
There we go. What is Dino Wagyu meat? Group adaptation, perfect. Research available, taiga skins. Uh, such a mimus, there we go. Modified genome. <laughs> I think Bob meant Wagyu. Well, that honestly, that does not help in the slightest. I have no idea what that is either. It's supposed to be really expensive. Well, okay, that's fair. Wagyu, Japanese cattle, is any of the four Japanese breeds of beef cattle? Oh, okay, okay. That gives me at least a decent idea. That's pretty good. We have two eggs, social and, oh, wow. Okay, so let's go with both of them. That's going to soak up most of our money, but that's okay. Uh, we can't do it right now. We have most of our scientists, or at least a lot of our scientists, wanting a break real bad. It'd be like saying Canadian cattle. Now, Wagyu from Japan is a different story, and Kobe is Wagyu that has been entirely grass-fed. Ah, Kobe beef. That I know. Not from personal experience, mind you, but I've heard of it, for sure. What the heck was that? Are we hearing the cars on the tour? Running on green electricity, the park tour is the most environmentally friendly way to see our dinosaurs. I'm with you on that, Aaron Lar. I'm sure it's wonderful. I'm sure it likely is the best in the world. And I know I sure as heck love a good beef meal. But I don't love it so much that I would be willing to pay that much just for that amount of a difference. You know, it would have to be a, a transcendent experience beyond the conception of all that is gourmet in the world. And while I'm sure Kobe beef is pretty good, I don't think it's that good. I'm sure it's just going to be, wow, that's amazingly good beef. Not, wow, I'm really glad I paid this exceptional amount of money for this beef. 
So I love just taking things I can claim from quests and leaving them out and then running away so they get touched by many people. That way more likes for all of us porters whenever someone actually ends the cycle. Nice. That works. Oh, are we done? We are not done. We're waiting on our scientists to finish resting. Look, we're kind of edging up towards three and a half stars already. We're not there yet, but we're we're well on our way. Ah, there we go. Let's see if we can do the thing. Oh, I don't think we can do the thing. Oh, crap. I don't think we have enough expertise on our team to get up to 10 well-being, like welfare, with three people. Seven looks like the best we can do right now. Crap, that means we have more research to do. I need more training and or more people. I think it depreciates the liking the more people it goes through because of what the individual's actions with said cargo, but the Death Stranding Cooperative is not completely understood. It would make a certain amount of sense to me, though. You're probably onto something there. How close are we to D-Day here? Oh no, it's almost here, they're almost gone, damn it. I still think roads were a very good way to make likes. Well, I certainly enjoy building the roads. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be fun. The next time I do stream Death Stranding, whether we go for the end of the game or not, I have to wonder how many likes I will have gotten for the road building that I've done. <clears throat> This actually lights a fire under me in a couple of ways. Not only do I have to hurry up and, you know, just work towards getting a replacement for the Rex, but I need my do total dinosaur species up to 10 and my total dinosaurs to 40. If those two are going to die, both of those numbers are going to decrease quickly. <laughs> a few thousand? In the past, when I've done stuff like that and gone for a significant amount of time, it's been more like a few hundred thousand. But then that was much earlier in the uh, game's life cycle, so you might be right. Research completed. Okay. Uh, now let's have a look at our staff and see who gets bumped up to what. Um, 
generalist, huh? We'll make you broadly, <clears throat> broadly useful. Okay, so that actually is enough in itself to guarantee that we can get up to a level of 9 or 10 easily. So that's good. That's... no. Oh, did, I must have already trained him. <clears throat> oh, Tenez, you could use some training. Akimi. There we go. There, we've got some good numbers on most of these. I'm actually a little bit concerned about how I don't really have a m specific medical specialist as such. Let's have a look at this. You're pretty good. Mr. Alvarado. I'm gonna hold out for somebody a little bit better than that though. I would not mind having Mr. Brandon Issa, though. Faster Expeditions is actually really, really nice. So, I'm going to take him for now, and then we're going to get a medical specialist for our last new recruit, for the moment at least, after that. True, Bob. But the roads take a long time to deteriorate. Oh, crap. I don't have the money now. Damn it. Ugh. Okay. At least I've got the Carnotaurus. We can make a bunch of Carnotaurus and put them in here. Maybe put the Majungasaurus in there as well. Your guests are complaining about the lack of space. The guests are just going to have to get used to it. Do I have the large amenity? Oh, I don't think I've got large amenities yet. That's another bit of research we can maybe do. Yep, yeah, rip money. Well, you know... <clears throat> People think running a park like Jurassic Park is a walk in the park, so to speak, and that it's almost as good as a license to just print your own money. They don't consider how expensive it is. What does that mean, Bob? Napping in a cactus. Not my prefer way, preferred way to nap, but, you know, 
<clears throat> I guess my priorities are different than a T-Rex. Advanced amenities. Excellent. Large amenity. What do we got here? Leisure wear five. Donuts four. Ginger beer one. <clears throat> okay, we're going to demolish all of these and redo them. Since running a park is expensive, you're giving your entertainment the money just for it to stay maintained. I think that makes sense. Okay. This was our donut shop. <clears throat> now, what do we have here? 29, 34, 28, and 9. So, basically, it's general and nature lovers. Let's, yeah, donuts actually still works. Do I not need to connect this? Okay, so that'll be food. that drinks similar distribution here we're still looking at mostly white and green so boba would work like we might keep boba Do the skeleton display and a selfie spot and something for the luxury lovers. A fish tank. There we go. Now we need something to replace the lost shopping. I think that's going to have to go more down this way.
Okay, so yeah, again, white and green, mostly. Oh, crap. No. Wait. That's shopping. <clears throat> Hats would work. T-shirts would work. Smart plushies. Oh, boy. Like, we might go books. Dense racks, extra shelves. Because it is a bookstore. The skeleton display and something for these guys. The adventure and luxury seekers. Sunglasses stand and... Oh, perfect. Gift stand. Actually... Leave that one empty. We'll do the gift stand instead. There. Didn't need to, Sketchy. It's close enough to the path that it was automatically connected, if I'm understanding correctly. And I should be. But the game will inform me if I'm mistaken. Nope. It connected. We're good. Okay, now we have to configure this, now that it's actually giving us data. All right, so we need white, green, and some yellow, mostly. Water feature. And a skeleton display. That ought to basically, yeah, that covers everything. Now we sit back and wait for the profits to roll in, our money to recuperate, and our Spinosaurus to be, you know, unleashable. Hopefully faster than the T-Rexes are going to croak. Oh no! 65 of 66. I don't think we're going to make it, guys. Or I don't think they're going to make it. Well, we'll have to use Carnotaurus as our plan B. Uh, we're so close to three and a half. How much money is it we need? Three point one. We need another million. Why do we... Oh my god, how many cars do we have on this frickin' tour? Why? 
One vehicle per 100 meters? Huh. I know there's a concern about having too many vehicles on the tour. That if, uh, if you have too many of them, your dinosaurs get frustrated. Hopefully. I mean, that looks like an awful lot to me. Hopefully it's okay. We haven't had any problems so far, I suppose. <clears throat> Okay, but ginger beer and a cream donut and jelly donut is amazing. That sounds really good. I do love ginger beer. Mm, no, okay, never mind. Come on, T Rexes, hang in there just a little bit longer, please. Uh, we're so close. The problem, of course, is I've got all of my hotels backing onto the Tyrannosaur paddock. So as soon as they die... The appeal of the entire park goes down the tubes. Two point seven five, come on, keep going up. Two point seven seven. Well, it's the drink shop that gets the biggest profits. What did we have in there? Oh, hang on. Uh, need a little something more for the luxury types. Maybe we'll switch out the... there. Alright, that's looking good. That's looking good. Vehicle under threat. I am shocked. Oh, that looks good. That works. Oh, 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 3.2. 
We did it. So far. There we go. Seems that the DC content is related to Vogue. What is DC content and what is Vogue? Per hour, sketchy. Or is... I'm not sure if it's per hour or per minute. It might be minute. A uh, director's cut and Vogue is toxic, heavy air from what I know. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I remember a few areas with the Vogue stuff. Didn't really have to deal with it terribly much over the course of the story, really. Come on, incubate faster. Well, it means more than just additional content. It comes from the director's cut versions of movies where the original release of the movie was interfered with by the studio and the released version of the film. Oh crap, here they go. The released version of the film was not really what the director originally intended. And so a director's cut would be a separate different cut of the movie that more accurately reflects what the director actually intended to release. In a game, it's similar. So yeah, there's probably some additional content that wasn't there, but there might also be content that's removed or somewhat different or changed, recontextualized, all that kind of stuff. Just basically closer to what the director of the game envisions it to be. In whatever method that might happen to be. We're almost there. Come on, just don't you dare die, sir. Hang on a little bit longer. I want to get my 10 species. Perfect. We're going to release via airlift. Kind of hate to do it because this is our first experience with these guys. But we're going to do it anyway. And now we've got research available for Piscifor Feeder. So let's do that. That is... No. Come on. There we go. There, ah, we did it. 10 dinosaurs, 40 species. Of course, I think we have to maintain that and get our park rating up to four. 
not entirely sure how that's going to go, but we'll see. Oh, that was an entirely different park, Sketchy. That dinosaur was never in this park to begin with. One of our T-Rexes died. I think my favorite song in Death Stranding has changed to a cut one. Okay. I don't remember a single song from Death Stranding. I'm really, like, I am probably the least musically inclined person you will ever encounter in your life. But that's pretty cool. Why, what's going on, Bug? Uh, same age, sketchy. They're both the same age, I believe. Okay, what do they need? They need area, but that's pretty much good. They need population, but that's coming, I think. Oh, I might need to do more of them. They need fish, but we've got research for that. They like sand and they like water. They actually really like water. There might be enough water there, but we can take a look at that in a moment. For now, sand is really the only thing that I need to worry too much about. There you go. There's there's your sand. You can change the base color of the BB pond, but it doesn't seem to register that I've changed it, thus removing a notification. Huh. Hopefully that gets fixed. You might want to send them a report about that. Piscivore feeder. Oh, shoot. They do. Okay, so they need a requirement of at least three. Can I do more? Uh, where are they? There they are. <laughs> I can't afford more yet. Sorry, guys. You have to be lonely for a little while. I apologize. Oh, shoot. We're not actually done with their enclosure yet, are we? Need one of them, and I suppose it probably helps to have a gate into the place. Oh, actually, we do have a gate. Never mind.
Uh, you figured it out. It was you. Painting wall with Gordon in the background. Actually nice. Thanks for making painting fun. You are very welcome, Watai. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, wait. Whew. It's just a copy. <laughs> hey there, Nabby. There were more covers than you thought. That's fair. Oh, damn it. That did reduce our total dinosaurs to 39, though. Appeal 639. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh no! Two dead dinos. Oh, another copy. No worries. Good luck, Bob. Have a good night. Ooh, the compies are actually getting lonely now? Maybe I should work on their genomes, too. They are good for padding numbers. Man, I have nothing on their genome so far. Expedition completed. Ah, see, now that's what I'm used to. It was totally worth getting the other guy that was fast expeditions. Uh, it looks like we're getting on towards time for me to take another break soon as well. 
take that in a few minutes. I'd like to see the results of the copy DNA extraction. I can release those into multiple enclosures. You don't have to keep all dinosaurs in the same one, even of a type. So we can have copies in with the T-Rexes, for or the T-Rex, for as long as that one survives. Um, yeah, we can put them in with the Suchos. If I recall correctly, they get along well with the... Um, what you call it? Carnotauruses as well. Maybe even with the Myasaurs. Well, they're not specifically liked, but there's nothing to suggest they wouldn't work. Now I have a two hour waiting for paint to dry pause before I get to painting phase two. New Viable Genome. Okay, excellent. Uh, with that, I'm going to go grab my last food for the day. So if you will bear with me, let's just overwrite this. And I will be back in a few short minutes, probably... Yeah, usually my breaks are three and a half to five minutes. Let's call this one five to eight minutes because I am going to have to do a bit of eating and then I'll be back and then we'll play more. So I'll be back in a few. Oh, they have a fire. I can do some cooking. Un oh, shoot. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, dog. You're coming with me. Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey tasks you with guiding the evolution of our own distant ancestors. Here I'm coming up on a venomous snake, which can be intimidated away if our proto-human is brave enough to challenge it. Here's the encounter. <laughs> and I have miserably failed to intimidate the snake away. So that's going to be some venom that's going to take a while to wear off. Unless maybe he's smart enough to figure out how to get it cured early. Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. still with us. Take a swim. Hey, I know who you are. Hey, Sithis. Guard. Guard. Arrest this man immediately. Oh my god, Serana.
Right. Okay. What's the point of putting stuff around if I can't blow it up? See, that's much better. That stuff serves a useful purpose. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. <laughs> Saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. Whoops. Boom Boom is down. What the hell? Whoops. Sorry, Boom Boom. Oh, God. Uh, Boom Boom. What the hell? <laughs> I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? Whoa! Hmm. Let's maybe not jump down quite that far. Let's turn that on. Whoa! That was awfully close by. Seven misses. More misses than anyone else, but fewer bads. Did you freaking die already? Oh, you're the alpha. Okay. What? Wow. Maybe. Oh my. <laughs> um, you okay, sir? There is someone up there. Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. But you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for your mental acceptance speech, kid. Oh my god, the timing. Shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass.
What? Art <laughs> that, that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. All right, guys, you ready? Nice. Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. Looks like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. I'm hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? Oh shoot, it's a compi. How did I do that? What the heck? <laughs> hey, Gucci's. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam Moon on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh my god. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. Arch enemy discovered. Okay. Keep your eyes on the suspect. Whoa. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently I made a much larger salad tonight than I expected. I had to leave some for my next break. Don't usually eat that late, but I couldn't get through all of it tonight. Thank you, Aaron Lair. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you, Mad. Oh, uh, it was with Ty. I've gotten extremely good at making them. My basic philosophy is that lettuce and tomato with some dressing is not salad. It's missing too much, so it's just sad. So if you make it with lots and lots and lots of other stuff, then it becomes really good. Okay, so now that's good sketchy. That means that I'm pretty much right on schedule. I mean, granted, I've pretty much missed a break at this point, but that's okay.
Okay. Let's have a look at our appeal. 50%. Wow. Oh, no. Oh. Wait a second. Why has our potential guest count not increased? I built another frickin' hotel. Deity, thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Maybe what I can do... Actually, here. We've got a couple people resting, but... Let's research more path options. We need nine. Okay, so he can practically do that alone. We'll get these guys working on that. Oop, nope. I don't want a small hotel. Why have a small hotel when I could have a large hotel instead that I can't afford? yet <clears throat> I'm gonna have to back a large hotel onto the uh, oh no oh crap uh, please be another copy yes it's another copy okay I get a little freaked out every time a dead dino thing pops up cuz my t-rex is alone because the other one already died of old age. And this one is the same age that that one had been. So basically, it's a matter of minutes before it goes to. Unfortunately. And I don't really have anything yet with the appeal to replace it properly. Although I have started working on the uh, genome for the Carnotaurus and the Majungasaurus. Both of them cohabitate really nicely, and they have pretty decent appeal. They're, I mean, they're, they're no T-Rex, obviously, but they have pretty decent appeal, and we'll be able to move them in here if needed after this guy bites it. Probably a little while after that guy bites it, because we're going to have to get our money up there before we can do it all. Plus, I still have to do some more expeditions to really finish off their genomes properly. What is the status of our genome research on the Carnotaur? Carnotaur, there you go. 79%. So we could... That's, that's high enough that I would consider releasing them. We are a lot further back on Majungasaurus, though. I don't think they're viable yet. Oh. <laughs> nope, they're definitely not viable. I haven't even begun. I thought I had. I guess I talked about it and convinced myself that I'd actually done it. Okay, main thoroughfare and two items unlocked. Excellent. I'm not going to go too wild with the path upgrades just yet. Let's see how that goes.
So for those of you who have not followed along with our playthrough of this particular scenario so far, this is Chaos Theory mode. We're doing the Lost World inspired Chaos Theory mode that has us take over the abandoned ruins of... What? Attention, please. A one-year resubscription has just been recorded to the rolls. Hilera, is this right? Twelve months? Fantastic. Let's award them their yellow one-year book. Holy crap, Vikings! Thank you so much for 12 months of support. That's amazing. Thank you. Think that's a full bookshelf. Yes, I believe you are correct. It looks like you've got all of them to me now. That's so cool. That is really, really cool. Congratulations on your fifth book. From this point on, you will still get updates to your icon, but it will come in the form of, you know, alterations to the books that are there. Yeah, so uh, we are doing the Chaos Theory mode for the Lost World Jurassic Park, where, you know, in the film they had had the Jurassic Park San Diego location that was abandoned, and then a T-Rex got loose and wrecked havoc in downtown San Diego, and people died, and it was all bad. Uh, we are doing a what-if scenario. What if InGen had not abandoned the idea? What if they had not abandoned the facility? What if they had continued to develop Jurassic Park San Diego? What if we managed to make it work? And so that's what we're working on. And I gotta admit, as much as I'm having a lot of fun with this one, I'm really looking forward to getting further ahead to Jurassic Park 3, and especially to the Jurassic World era, where you have all the more advanced buildings and much greater access to flexible genetic engineering on the dinosaurs, and just, you can really start to let things go crazy. Plus, it, it actually, it didn't even occur to me today, I haven't seen Dominion yet, so maybe it's just as well, but they have a whole new expansion for this game that just came out a little while ago. And it's all based around Jurassic World Dominion. And so it's a whole new part of the campaign that you can play. Like, you know, there were, I don't know how many, like five or six different campaign episodes not really tied to the movies in any significant way, but there's one that's based around, uh, you know, Biosyn, which is InGen's competitor in the films and the books. And all the stuff that they're working on, and it just looks really, really cool, and I just really don't want to play it yet until I've seen the movie. So we'll have to see how that goes. But I'm really anxious to see the film. Uh, my brother and his wife are in town, and they just recently saw Dominion, and they tell me that it's really, really good. So I am excited to see that. I tend to trust their taste in films. They have, um, when it comes to this kind of science fiction stuff, they have very similar taste to mine. So if they like it, I'm sure I'm going to like it quite a bit as well. So I can't wait to see what's in there. I think there might be another chaos mode as well. I don't really... Maybe next break or something. I will... Take a look at the chaos theory options. It's very conceivable that they added a new chaos theory for Dominion. But this is my first time going... Well, actually, okay, that's a blatant lie. This is my second attempt at my first time going through the Lost World Chaos Theory mode. So I'm excited to get to some of the later stuff and increase the amount of tools we have available to work with. And ultimately eventually get to Sandbox mode. Is it on? No. Uh, it's still in theater, Sketchy. It's not on any of the streaming services just yet. You probably have to wait three or four months for that. Or maybe a little bit less if you're willing to buy it on, like, you know, Google Play or Apple or wherever. Oh, 
Oh, where can I watch the other two? What are you talking about, the other two? The other two what? Dominion is in theaters, just for clarification. Jurassic World Dominion is in theaters. It's not available on streaming services. Depending on what you mean by the other two, because that's a very confusing thing to say. Um, I might be able to answer, or I might not. Sorry to go off topic or whatever, but I just read your bio and I was recently diagnosed with depression and anxiety and they put me on an SSRI sertaline. So I was wondering if you've ever taken it and if so, do you know when it usually kicks in and starts helping? I googled it, but there are so many mixed answers, but the important thing I suppose is it hasn't made anything worse. I'm a... a oh crap. Oh, no, oh, it's just a storm. Okay, that's fine. No, I've never taken anything like that. <clears throat> I have only a very minimal diagnosis. That's maybe something I should possibly look at changing. Because I have a feeling there's more going on than just depression. But, uh, no, I've, I've never been prescribed anything. So I'm afraid I can't hear, help you with that. Um... Googling is probably a good first step, but maybe what you want to do is call the doctor that gave you the prescription and ask them, because they'd probably have a really good idea. Okay, what happened to our power grid? Oh, uh, that's fun. That's good. That's always a blast of a good time. I need a ranger team. Excuse me, coming through. Ah! Damn it. I should have assigned this out to someone. Well, crap. Okay, you know what? Oh, I get it. It's just shut down because, yeah, storm. That makes sense. Five weeks. Oh, gotcha, Aaron Larth. Gotcha. Oh, the previous two. Okay, so Jurassic World and Jurassic World to Fallen Kingdom. I own them on Google Play, so I don't know where they would be available to stream. And my answer might be different than yours because I'm in Canada, and if I recall correctly, you're in the United States. So you might have an easier time finding it to stream. I would, uh, yeah, you're not going to find it on Paramount Plus because that's Paramount, not Universal, first of all. Uh, maybe try Prime, Amazon Prime. You could also look at Netflix. Now, when I went and I, I actually just the other week, I watched Jurassic World again because I'd been having such a good time with this game. And I could not find any of the movies to watch anywhere, not even on Netflix. And I know it used to be on Netflix in Canada. But you could try Netflix. It might be might still be there in the United States. That would be my suggestion. <laughs> Thank you, Sketchy. And also, Daddy, don't ever worry about going, you know, off topic. As far as I'm concerned, that is never off topic. We just, you know, we don't really have topics in here as such most of the time. I can only think of a handful of times where I would ever really think of that as being a thing. Most of the time, we just talk about whatever we happen to be talking about. So if you happen to want to talk about that, please feel free. Anytime. Park rating and profit has grown by 1%. That is such a depressing number, especially after adding dinos like the such a mimus, which I'm probably brutally, brutally mispronouncing. I love this guy's coloration. Oh, hey, this might not be the best time for it, but I can't help but notice that we've got enough money to begin the process of making more of them. Cheaper synthesis sounds really good. And a genetic specialist. There we go. Have 
Attention all personnel. The sandstorm is starting to pass. Please resume your normal working activity. Yeah, it was really a lot of fun watching Jurassic World again. I had really forgotten just how much I enjoyed that movie. None of the Jurassic World films that I've seen so far come close to the original Jurassic Park. That one's just a timeless classic that's gonna last forever in my heart, but... Jurassic World, still really, really good. Vera Johnson, how are you doing? It's good to see you. It's been seven years since it came out. Yes. You tried looking at when Jurassic Park came out. <laughs> it feels like it was five minutes ago. And also 5,000 years ago. I will ask him. He just told me to call and let them know if it made anything worse because some people get significantly worse on, on Zoloft, but the general consensus seems to be anywhere from four to eight weeks. So I'll stick it out and see how it goes. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. I hope it goes well. I am very, very fortunate. My depression... Well, I, I'm sort of very fortunate and sort of not. Um, my depression is a mild case, at least as far as the diagnosis that I've had was able to indicate. So... It's that, but it... My particular type comes with a fair amount of impairment in, uh, what do they call it? What do they call it? Uh, I am hopeless at terminology when I'm streaming because I've got too many things running through my brain all at the same time. Executive function. That's what it's called. So in that case, I'm not terribly lucky, but at least it's a mild case. I can't even conceive of how people with significant impairment to their executive function are able to function on a day-to-day -day basis. It makes it so difficult to get anything done. They call it social function. No, that's... In, that's uh, uh, well, actually, you might be right. <laughs> It might be that, too. It could be that as well. As an American, I'm cringing at the Supreme Court decision, and I'm worried about what this will do for us for as a country, so we shall see. Yeah. I don't blame you, Vera. I do not blame you. Ten hours after turning left, what was I supposed to do? I know. Uh, it happens. It happens, Daddy. You almost certainly replied to the wrong message because the messages just don't stop. Oh, crap. What? Oh, God. Why are you... What? No. T-Rexes do not belong out on the strip. Uh, this might be... On the one hand, if the T-Rex breaks out, it might raise his infamy and bring more people to the park. On the other hand, he might eat the people in the park. Let's open the shelters. No. I actually kind of had in mind more that you would fix the fence. Not do a status check. There we go. Status check on the T-Rex. Oh. Hey, good, Rexy. Stay in your open enclosure. Very, very good. I'm proud of you.
Oh, really sketchy. Oh, geez, on Hulu. We don't get Hulu, so that might not do me any good. But on the other hand, Disney Plus has... Uh, what the... Why are you just mauling all of the fencing? What did that fence ever do to you? Why are you in such a bad mood today? Missing Prey... Where do you go? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh boy. Is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. The alarm is already on, thankfully. Uh, we are working on tranking him, right? Oh no, Almendra was uh, the previous iteration of this. Almendra never existed in this playthrough. There we go. Now is the fence, there we go. Yeah, that version of the park went bankrupt, Nabby. I'm happy to report that, sure, okay, we had a T-Rex escape, but nobody was eaten. One nap was taken. Only partially, Deity. They give you the amphitheater and the general outline of this central path area. But you have to build all of the enclosures in it because you only have a few scraps of fencing that are still left from the original park build. So you have to complete all that yourself. And you know, the way you decorate each park is going to be dependent, or each you know enclosure within the park, rather is going to be dependent on the dinos that you put inside it, and then there's all this space outside it. Like, they didn't give me any of this. I did this, which is why it's so craptastic. Uh, and so... You basically, you start with, like, two or three buildings in the amphitheater. A whole bunch of pathways and a few scraps of fence, and you just have to build it out from there. So I just went with, you know, I, I took what they had left... And I have built upon it. That's true, Wittai. Nobody's been eaten yet. I think the danger is mostly over now at this point. And we can now cancel the alert because everything is 100% safe in the park once again. Nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I really appreciate that. 
Ponders of security left on a donut break and came back after realizing a T-Rex got out. Gonna drop a lurk and get some sleep. Have a fantastic night, Matt. I really appreciate you being here. Okay, you are looking for food, but you're content now. That's good. I'm a little concerned about why he was having trouble finding prey. That's, I mean, it's a, it's a big enclosure, but it's still an enclosure, and there should be two goats in there for him. Zero days since the dinosaur escaped. Hey, goofball. Uh, we had a little minor incident where a T-Rex got out. Nothing to worry about. It's all under control. Alright, let's see here. Nice shot. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Why is the money so low? Oh, oh, because that was the worst possible timing. I spent a bunch of money to get more Sacho Mimas underway, and then I had to close the park because of the T-Rex. So... Fingers crossed this does not completely wreck us. It was a very minor incident, Grogu. So a T-Rex got loose. What's the worst that could happen? Nobody got eaten. Okay. We're in the green again. We're going up. We're all right. It's all fine. We're good here. <laughs> What's up? Oh, what do you want named Papaya, though, Nabby? I should warn you, if you're uh, eyeing the T-Rex... What's the T-Rex's age? T-Rex's age is 77 out of an expected lifespan of 67. So he's kind of living on borrowed time there already. I'm actually very shocked that he hasn't bit the bucket already. Who's the youngest? Uh, that would probably be the Such a Mimus. One of them. I released them both at the same time. One of those? How about the nice blue one? There you go. Hey, I will take it, Vera Johnson. I want the T-Rex to live as long as possible because I'm still trying to increase our dinosaur species and once he kicks the bucket, I need another species added to the park. Now, I do have Carnotaurus waiting in the wings. But it's going to take a bit of money and my concern is the T-Rex is the big draw to the park. Once he bites it, you know, the park doesn't lose all of its appeal, but it loses a pretty sizable chunk of its appeal. And that's going to impact our ability to make money, and it could send us into a spiral that results in the death of the entire park. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, Vera. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Okay, it's just another copy. Speaking of compies, they're starting to get lonely because so many of them have died. Um, shoot, okay, I need more research done on them. Now that our money is increasing. Uh, we're at 62%. That's not that bad. He is infamous, but we need him. Got it. Yeah, basically. Basically. I mean, there are very few other dinosaurs as... You know, as... as um, emblematic of the dinosaurs as a whole. As the Tyrannosaurus Rex is. Only other one that I can think of that might even come close is Triceratops. Okay, let's do you and you. And then we have some folks that need resting. <clears throat> After seeing that scene of the Velociraptors escaping and rampaging the park, that was a famous scary scene. That's such a great movie. I saw that in theaters when it first came out, and it's honestly hard to express to people who weren't alive at that point just how impactful the whole movie was. Because people are so used to seeing amazing graphics these days. I mean... <sighs> The images that we were used to seeing of what dinosaurs had looked like, or at least, you know, the best that we could produce according to our understanding of the time, was so cheesy compared to what Jurassic Park showed us. And it was just honestly mind-blowing, because it represented such a ridiculous leap in technology. You know, previous to Jurassic Park, the greatest achievement in visual effects in a film had been Terminator 2 with shiny face guy oh my god yet another copy Acknowledging asset collection request. Uh, do I have anybody actually working on those fossils or did we just finish those I think we must have just finished those Copy, 87. That'll do. Now I'm feeling old. Terminator is like ages ago. Yep, it is. Sadly, it is. Asset 
being transported. Okay, what did we get? Three viable eggs. Oh, th wait, that's the wrong one. Oh, actually, but let's look at that. Uh, okay, so social, aggressive. Dislikes and threatens other species. That actually, these are okay. Oof. Four and a half million. Yikes. Okay, eight eggs, that's good. Only one came out skittish, that's not bad at all. Okay, so that's going to be two minutes. Still have the original Disney princess movies. I don't think I'm familiar with those. Was that a series? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, that's Struthia Mimas. Okay, interesting. Collecting asset. Well, at least this new batch of copies will increase the total number of dinosaurs to above 40, I think. Oh, jeez, they're dropping like flies. What the hell? I can't afford all these new dinos I have to make. <laughs> VHS is still a thing. I am living in denial. Though it actually kind of still is a thing. I had a pretty reasonable VHS collection. I still have some. I used to collect as many different versions of the Star Wars movies on VHS as I could. And then I moved into DVD and then I just kind of stopped after a while. Uh, oh, 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 hang on. Okay, we are going to release via airlift right in here. Picking up asset. Heading to pick up the asset. En route to collect the asset. Asset requiring collection. Adding to the list. Request acknowledged. I still have VHS tapes standing around. Yep, same. Disney made Cinderella, Snow White, and I think they did a Sleeping Bo Beauty movie as well. Oh God, yeah, they did made all, like Cinderella, Snow White, and Sleeping Beauty. Those were like from the what 30s, 40s, 50s. Long before my time. I think they were mostly the 30s and 40s for those ones. Transportation underway. Asset has been delivered. Grown by 5%. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, the money's really going up now. Okay. Increase total dinosaurs to 40. Oh, God. All those compies. And they really didn't increase it all that much. 
the next dead dino is gonna sink it as well. Uh, Little Mermaid. Yeah, when did the Little Mermaid come out? That was far more recent. That was like, I want to say that was maybe early to mid '90s for the Little Mermaid. And then Beauty and the Beast was definitely early '90s. Oh, was it that early, Aaron? So late 80s then. Okay. I was always a bigger fan of Beauty and the Beast than The Little Mermaid. In fact, I think I'm not 100% certain I've ever even seen The Little Mermaid. It's hard for me to be sure because I've seen cl clips so many times and I've seen so much media surrounding it that it feels like I've seen the movie and it's very possible that I have, but I don't clearly remember ever actually watching it. November 17th, 89. Wow. Okay. You still have the VHS tapes. Nice. Oh, you know what we've got here? I think we're at... Ah, uh, it's so close. That's just a hair below three and a half stars. Three and a half stars is the point at which I need to get in order to research the fossil sites so that I can replace the T-Rexes. Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. Recent being 30 years ago, 30 years, 5 minutes, who's counting? But I have three DVD copies of The Little Mermaid and two of Treasure Planet, just in case. Treasure Planet, I know I've never seen, but I also know I'm going to enjoy the hell out of when I do get to see it. Oh, thank you for the shout out, Aaron Lar. How's Mass Effect going? Tonight was a thing? Oh no. I assume you're talking about he who must not be named. Asset transportation underway. Okay, I'm thinking maybe... Since these guys have reasonably good appeal, maybe another hotel looking in on their enclosure. We gotta do a movie night of Treasure Planet. You can't miss that one after playing Curse of Monkey Island. That's fair. I can't wait for the new Monkey Island game that's coming out this year. That's going to be so much fun. What's that? Okay, 4.6 again, right. Uh, maybe I should do some more copies over for here. How are the copies doing? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Pachycephalosaurus. Last Monday of every month, we cater to the local Republican women's group. So after this week, oh boy. 
Oh, that's worse than I thought, Greeny. Also, 10 minutes before close, a large group, which included the mayor, but also someone who works there. Oh, boy. Mm. We are starting to lose some of the Struthia Mimas, aren't we? Let's maybe modify their genome and see what we can do with these guys. Oh, I'm very sorry, folks. You guys need a bit of a break. And actually, looking at the clock, they're not the only ones. I should take one soon. Not right this minute, but soon. That's not what I want. There we go. Then next Monday is going to be a thing too because the 4th of July, yeah. Annual fish fry and fireworks display, so that'll be a thing. Oh boy. Yeah, that sounds like it'll be fun. Okay, Struthia Mimas. Skittish. Let's skip that one. So Yukon River, Salar de Huasco, Death Valley, Yukon River again, and Death Valley again. That works. I'm cool with the fish fry personally because I'll be snacking all day beyond that, though. <laughs> well... That definitely sounds like a plus, unless you're me. Okay, where were these guys dying off? Struthiomimus, Struthiomimus, you guys are here. Exactly, Grinny. So I hope it goes as well as it possibly can go and that the fish fry is great. I can approve from a distance because I don't have to eat it. By the way, Navi, I know it's a little bit late, but I think I forgot to ask you earlier this year, how did Mermaid go? Straight up normal sake. I'll try the flavored ones, but I like things as they start. Uh, 
Okay, this total dinosaur count did not go above 40. So I suspect it just went to 40 and then stopped counting. Which is honestly very on brand for Jurassic Park. Also... Gotta give this guy some credit. He is really hanging in there, and I've probably just signed his death certificate by naming him that. As long as it's completed this year, it'll be just fine. You're not done yet, Nabi. I c oh, I couldn't finish in time, but I'm finishing it later when I'm done with work. Ah, oh, that's fair. That's, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, it kind of looks like the park maybe just needed an infusion of new blood, literally. It now looks like we're actually doing fairly okay with the whole... ...income thing. Let's take a look at our potential research here. Two million for the research. But we need to do it. We have to do it. Fifteen. Um. Oh, crap. Okay, I can't do it. I need three more points in genetics to be able to actually conduct that research. Which means it might be time to hire that last scientist that I was thinking of. So let's see who we can get. We do need somebody that's primarily welfare, so this uh, Setsuko Aoki looks like a pretty good candidate. One extra training point in genetics would help us out a lot. Oh, look at this guy. A big 10 and a 6 in genetics. That's pretty decent. This guy here, Patrick Richards, also with the potential 10 in welfare. Not quite as strong in genetics yet. Okay, actually, I think, Aryan, you're the one. He is now our principal doctor. Welfare specialist. Only downside of not finishing in time is the contest of the year, but I don't care that much. Oh, they started giving out actual prizes? Very cool. Oh, uh, I need... Oh, shoot. Okay, I need more research before we can actually train him up. It's okay. Uh, but we did want research here. Where are we? My only problem is, since we were going primarily for a doctor, I don't actually know if we have the personnel that can do this. 8, 4, and... Th oh, oh, yep, okay, we can do it. Thank you, guys. Insufficient funds. Oh, no. I spent too much hiring the new guy that I apparently didn't need after all. That's okay. We'll learn it back fairly quick. Transportation complete. Ah. That's a copy, right? Yes. Okay.
Wait, did I name two restaurants Bronto Burgers? Oh no, that's still Donuts too. Okay. So it was two million I needed, right? We should be get, getting that very quickly soon here. What do we have in the way of fossils? None. Okay, we need to fix that soon. But I want that research first. Methuselah is not going to live forever, despite the name. At the risk of further jinxing it. Where is he? Or she? They're all female, right? Eighty-three. There we go. What? I thought I had enough. Well, that's not cool. I've never seen one, Vera. I've never seen a commercial for Uber Eats before. Or Uber in general, for that matter. How is this? Okay, fine. You know what? I, I don't think I have a choice. I think I need to do some additional training. If I can. And there goes my two million. But I need it. It has to be done. Okay. It's it's like 25 after 3 in the morning. I need to take a break. If you guys will bear with me, I'll just be a few minutes. I'm going to see if I can go finish off the food from earlier and I will be back. So if you guys need to get up and you know, uh, take a little bit of a break yourself, get up, get some food, get a snack, get a drink, use the facilities, whatever you need to do. This is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in, say, three and a half to five minutes, or maybe make it six, uh, just because it might take me a minute longer or so. So I'll be back very shortly. Hey, can you guys hang on there for just half a second? I have to scan this thing. You don't mind, right? No, it's not gonna let me. That's annoying. Priorities game, priorities. No! 
I forgot the grease is flammable. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Out of the way, mission. There we go. What the hell was that? Wait. Can I not fly it? Welcome aboard, yada, 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 yada. Look, you may be our captain, but I don't have to like it. What? What? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They force their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> What? This is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what the? This is a whole new area to explore. I like that. <laughs> oh. You didn't see me do that. I didn't do that. You can't prove a thing. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. Commander. You can't outrun me. The commander. Ranger is lit. Reinforcements are coming. Oh man. The, co the commander leaped off to his own death. Hey, what dive worm? They're not kidding. This is much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh, that was atrocious. Wow. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh, wait. He's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much of that. Okay, I'm back. Okay, let's get the game going again. Thank you, Aaron Thor.
Uh, and here I was hoping we might actually finish this scenario tonight. As it stands, I think I'll be happy if we just don't run the park into the ground. Thank you, Goofball. Ah, oh, thank you, Sketchy. Okay, then. So we spent two million on getting the training ability we need to train our scientists to get the training that we need to get the dig sites for the Tyrannosaurus Rex genome, which we need to get to 100% or reasonably close at least, so that we can replace our T-Rexes when they eventually kick the bucket. That's where we're at, because I'm expecting a big crash once the last T-Rex goes away. Oh, crap. Why are we in the negatives? The more comfortable an animal is, the more content it will be. All being well, it'll be less difficult to manage, too. Oh, we're good. Temporary dip. Yeah, the Mosasaurus. I've never had one in the game. I've never built a lagoon. One of the things I'm looking forward to when we get up to Chaos Theory Jurassic World. I think technically, I wonder if I can do that now. Well, I mean, I can't do it right now because I wouldn't be able to afford it. But in theory, I wonder if I could. No, okay, no, I don't think I can. Unless it's unlocked. No. No. No, okay, so... No lagoons in this scenario. I do have another game off-stream that I had been playing before the visual effects bug came about. Where I'm doing the Canada scenario again from the campaign, except I'm doing it on hard mode specifically so that I can try to get every, like, all the unlockables so that when I eventually do sandbox mode, <clears throat> that's apparently how you unlock stuff for sandbox mode, is you first get it in the other game modes, and then if you've had it in another game mode, it's available to you in sandbox mode. And there's some stuff that you have to play on hard mode to get. This is the Lost World one. Jurassic Park San Diego. Second film. Okay, so money's not going up maybe as quickly as I would love. We could probably cheap out a little bit. If we were to replace that with a fossil display, there we go. Can we replace the water feature? Maybe a fish tank and a fountain. Uh oh. Ugh. Every time.
Okay, let's see how that works. Actually, I should check the other amenities as well. We've got stuff over here. Steaks. Oh. These really do need to be reconfigured, don't they? <coughs> okay, so we need general and adventure. Ice cream machine will do it. Designer goods. We need something better for these guys. Um... There. Ginger beer. There. That'll do. Now, how about over here? Bronto burgers. We're spending way too much. Fish tank. Fountain. Oh. Mm, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. I might have to keep the aquarium for now. That's another area I can research is better options for these things. Is that the only shop I have in this area? You've got to be kidding me. That close to one of the hotels? Okay, we have to fix this. We need more amenities, even if coverage is good. Saved by a copy. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, we do have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a deficit here. Availability could be bigger, better, bigger and better. Okay, so the big one here, we want to appeal to the luxury folk. We're going to go paella just because I like the name and it sounds delicious. Uh, we want a reasonable amount for white and green. So let's go fossil display and... Hopefully that'll be okay. We'll have to come back and look at that. Now that was Bronto Burgers. This is... Oh, wait a minute. Paella. Isn't this food? Yeah. Well, okay. I guess we're having more food in the area. This is going to be drinks. What is paella?
Okay, so again, uh, actually, let's maybe... Yeah, we'll keep it boba. We'll do a fossil display. Do a selfie spot and... A fish tank. Mostly rice with different regional things. Ooh, that sounds good, Nubby. Your fave usually comes with seafood, but you can have just chicken variant. Okay. So it's versatile. I like versatile. Versatile is very good. Now, if we wanted shopping, what would we do? Staff improvements. Excellent. Actually, I'm going to have to hold off on the training because that's going to be expensive as well. It's going to cost money to train each individual scientist up. So let's let these... Oh, okay, so that's better data there. We need more for the greenies. We'll do a fish tank. We need more for the luxury guys here, so... Fountain's not going to cut it. We'll have to do the aquarium. Adventure needs a bit more here. I don't know if we can manage that with the small one. I think if I'm not mistaken, the original one from Valencia uses beans mostly and artichokes. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever eaten artichoke before. I've heard it's very potato-like in flavor, if not in form. Mostly beans with some chicken and chicken broth. That sounds really good. I mean, that, that honestly sounds really delicious. Okay, that's got our money going up quite a bit. That's really nice to see. Minus 14% on last month. Oh, but I've been spending. I've had a few major expenditures. That's not all that surprising. Income per minute. Okay, so we are getting a little better there. Hey, the adventure income is coming up too. That's pretty nice. The anti-gourd paella. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, how's research looking? Two million. But we're getting there. We've managed to poke our income into the improvement zone again. Park rating and profit has grown by 2% this month. Keep up the good work. It kind of looks like maybe I just did all those improvements to all the amenities right at the end of the month. So it hasn't had a chance to actually affect the stats very much. You know, I think most of the reason this Tyrannosaur hasn't died yet is because it spends so much of its life tranquilized. Took tonight off and ended up getting accidentally sliced open by a dog claw. Oh god, I'm sorry, Greeny. Raging, how goes? It's good to see you. Uh-oh. Oh. Acknowledging asset collection request. That's one of the earlier Struthium I misses. Buddy sitting beside me grabbed the napkin, poured a tiny bit of his high dollar bourbon on it, slapped it on my arm. It was his dog. Oh boy. That's expensive uh, disinfectant. On the plus side, you probably absorbed some of it through the blood contact. Okay, almost back up to a million. I think our amenity improvements are working. Pretty decent profits here. Oh, this one's not very profitable. What the heck? Yeah, that aquarium is murdering me. I'm going to do that. Better to piss off the adventure people. They have other things they can go do. So, because alcohol, I actually started bleeding because... Oh, <laughs> blood thinner. That, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Paella gets its name from the skillet-like dish it was traditionally made in. Cooked rice in some stock... With whatever spices, herbs you're using, garlic is normal. Cook whatever meat, veggies to nearly done. Add to rice and cook the last rest of the way. Regional varieties for what those ingredients all are. Man, I wonder what the Canadian regional ingredients would be. What's that sketchy? Do 
Donuts too. You let me down. What the heck? It's got to be something. Ice cream machine, maybe? But now we're running at a loss. I can maybe ditch the fountain. Very disappointed, Donuts, too. Very disappointed. Having a sweet tooth and don't have anything to satisfy this craving, you're gonna have to go get something, then. I had a very close friend growing up that was Cuban, and I used to hang out there and eat all sorts of paella and even better Cuban coffee. What's different about Cuban coffee? Rabbit is not uncommon as one worldwide, so I wouldn't put it past that or caribou. Probably chicken. Of course, seafood near the coasts and lakes. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Another Pachycephalosaurus. I don't think I have the genome to replace those, actually, now that I think about it. And I seem to remember last time we did this scenario, one of the contributing factors to the uh, the park going bankrupt was the last Pachycephalosaurus getting lonely and being so upset that he bashed his way through the fences a few times and caused park shutdowns that tanked my income and basically ruined the entire thing. Population 3, and we're just about at that threshold again. Crap. Where would I find them? That's Pachyrhinosaurus. That's not going to work. Trudon. Shoot. This might be something I need to research before I can even go get the DNA. Damn it. There's too much going on. This actually is surprisingly hard. Crap, it's the last one in the node. And I still have to get my park to 3.5 stars. Even if you don't mix sugar into it, you would be surprised because, I mean, intellectually, you wouldn't think it just thinking about it, but they are citrus and there's a surprising amount of sugar in lemon and lime juice. But yeah, what Aaron Laura is suggesting, I actually, I, I haven't done it in many years, but when I was a kid, I used to do that all the time, just make my own lemonade. 
lemonade or limeade. Just do the smell test on it, Sketchy. If it smells like it's supposed to smell, you're good. Oh, God. That's another one. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Lonely. Shoot. Okay, I can't back you up on the Alka-Seltzer thing. <laughs> I mean, I have no reason to think that it wouldn't work or wouldn't be good. Who knows, maybe if the juice is a little bit older, the Alka-Seltzer might help. We're sitting at 3.4. Damn it. Okay, is... How much is it going to cost to do the Carnotaurus? I need to get my appeal up. Okay, so we've already got random... I'm not going to do any fancy editing. Let's just try to synthesize some and see how much it's going to be. Cheaper synthesis. Okay. Ooh, no. no. Ooh. I mean, if you're talking about just eating a bit of ketchup on its own to satisfy your sweet craving, that might work. That's on you. Uh, if you're talking about adding it to the lemonade, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Don't do that. Alka-Seltzer is primarily bicarbonate of soda, a.k.a. baking soda, a.k.a. sodium bicarbonate. That's used to make soda water different from actual seltzer, which is just carbonated water, and also different from quinine water, a.k.a. tonic. Okay, that's fair. That works. Uh, I think we can do all four of these. Oh my god, three million. Oof. Damn it. Oh good, they have a minimum population of two. It won't take us too long to get two. I crave the bubbles, so I drink a lot of fizzy stuff. Soda has a slight saltiness to it due to the sodium, but especially when mixed with something, you don't even notice it. I probably... Uh-oh. Oh, no, I think the T-Rex might be okay. Yeah. Oh, shoot. It's the last Pachycephalosaurus. Or, uh, actually, probably the second to last Pachycephalosaurus. Which means now is when we face financial ruin. Because this guy's going to be extra lonely. Why is your comfort so low? Oh, it's purely the loneliness. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's gonna be... Damn it. He's gonna turn out to be a problem. Guaranteed. I was really hoping we could finish this scenario before all this started happening again. One, three, let's, we just have to get up to one, six, we can get some Carnotaurus. Asset in transit. Another dead, what? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, and the problem... Well, actually, that's not that bad. As long as it's, like, 38, adding to Carnotaurus will bring us back up. And then I can just do a bunch of copies after that, and our numbers will be fine. Or Struthiomimus. I could do more Struthiomimus. Nice thing about both is that they are plentiful and they are cheap. Raw numbers are not as big an issue anymore. It's the species count that I'm a little concerned about, because once the T-Rex goes... Oh, you, oh, carrots, yeah. There you go. Carrots actually are pretty sugary. That's, uh, that's a good way to go about it. Almost there. Come on. There, nope, nope, okay. Almost. Now the game's just trolling. There. Okay. Dinosaur with sprain. An MVU will be automatically dispatched to treat the injury. Oh, that's convenient. Or more simply put, even better if you cook them. You know, if you cut them thin and... Uh... Oh, 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 research available. I think we hit 3.5 stars finally. I bet if you cut them thin and fried them to the caramelization point, they'd be amazing. Could have just called it caramelization. There you go. Frying's probably not the way to go, though. I'll let Greeny speak to that, if he feels like it. Okay, guys. Off to your new habitat, which probably is too small. But we can embiggen it. And actually, now that I think about it, I believe they needed sand as well. They were sort of T-Rex-like in that regard.
I do use butter a fair bit. I am southern, but not for everything. Transportation underway. With the whole keto thing, I've been putting butter, like not huge amounts of it, but a small amount of butter in my coffee, and it's actually really good. It's better with unsalted butter, but even the salted butter, the salt of the butter tends to make the flavor of the coffee pop. It's really actually kind of nice. Never ever try butter in coffee? A second degree burn? How did a dino get a second degree burn? That's fair, Aaron Lore, but you're kind of missing out. Delivery complete. Cream in coffee is really just butter and coffee without the liquids. Or with the liquids, rather. I... Uh, you got me. Maybe a dinosaur tried to eat a hot engine component or something. Oh, I guess they need feeders. That would probably help. Doesn't like the sand. Actually, let's do it this way. There. Very particular about the sand he gets. Oh, you oh, okay. Well, that's different, Aaron Laura. If you don't even put cream in your coffee, then butter is just extra concentrated cream, so that makes total sense. Otherwise, my coffee is dark enough I can't see light through it. You do a weird thing at work? Why does that not surprise me? Whiskey and coffee isn't that weird. Why can you not see... Oh, there you go. Okay, that's better. I was that weird teen who drank coffee straight. Nice. I get a pot of coffee grew brewing, grab a cup, fill it with ice, pound it fast, and do it again. Okay, that is weird. I do, Vera Johnson. It's kind of a keto thing. But when you think about it, I mean, it, like I said, it is better with unsalted butter. But butter is really just super concentrated cream. Oh no, Aaron Lore, you said the C word. Hmm. 
98% guest comfort, 97% guest approval. All right. <sighs> Damn it, I hate losing a sneeze. <clears throat> It does look like we could use another drink amenity down in this area somewhere. Probably not a small one, though. Oh, we can just fit a large. I think for this one, we might go yogurt drinks. Yogurt drinks with a fish tank and a selfie spot. Oh, oh, hang on. Wait, why did the greenie demand just suddenly skyrocket? There, we'll do that. Now, how's bathroom coverage looking? I haven't looked at that in a while. Looks pretty good, except for this spot right here. And I'm just going to say you guys can hold it. Okay. Income is rising. Profit, look at that. Profit. Oh, that's, that's upkeep. But profit, also rising. That's a good thing. Twenty seven visible dinos. Oh, hey, they do get these guys and these guys on the tour. That's so cool. drawing too much power again. Unused power zero. That did not used to be zero. There used to be unused power. Unused power zero. Unused power zero. Okay. Might be time for yet another small energy plant. the bonehead research going um
Well, I, I actually don't know. We're going to have to look and see how much that one's going to cost now that it's potentially available. Oh, it's so much cheaper. It's only half a million instead of two million. Okay, so we'll have to go with that one first. I'm a little bit slightly less worried about the T-Rex dying now. If the T-Rex dies, these guys get tranked and move it over into the spotlight pen here. And at least we've got something to serve as a big toothy draw. Yep, maybe not quite as big and quite as toothy and quite as much of a draw, but at least we've got something. Probably time to do another survey of the amenities we've got here. Okay, that's looking all right. Oh, even the large ones are now starting to get a little overcrowded. That's interesting. Uh... Donuts to my constant nemesis. Forever not running a profit. Oh well. Ah, looks like we have enough. Oh, right. <clears throat> I guess it's probably helpful if I actually complete the enclosure here. They need someone to do status checks. And those people doing the status checks probably need a way in. There we go. Have a good night, Aaron Lar. Thank you for the help this evening. I appreciate it. Hope you rest well. Oh, crap. Yep. Here goes. Here goes.
Come on, guys. Hit. Hit better. There you go. That's correct. Don't run the asset over. Oh my god. Sandstorms pose a real threat to our operation here. They have a tendency to wreak havoc with our equipment. And if the dinosaurs are caught up in it, they can become very unsettled. So always be on your toes. Ah, good. Research complete. That means I can now send expeditions and hopefully soon make some more Pachycephalosaurus. And we don't even have to go farther. We've got some in Hell Creek Formation A in the U.S. And the Scholard Formation A in Canada. You can go. Yeah, the two of you can go. That means they'll be back in just a few seconds. Well, if we've got a storm coming in, I might as well just keep the shelters open. This could be bad, though. I, I actually kind of feared this might be the death of the park. We're 41,000 in the hole. Hopefully they brought back some stuff to sell. Well, that money didn't last long. <sighs> it's those damn Pachycephalosaurus. They're nasty. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you, Sketchy. I can't repair fences. I don't have the money. Can I sell the actual fossils? Okay. Looks like the storm is ending. Let's see if we can get profits back up before we die of bankruptcy. going down in the hole so fast. Oh my god.
Her park rating just fell dramatically, too, because of that. Uh, three minutes to get back to zero. It's getting close. We might possibly be able to do it. Maybe. Depends on whether our profit margin is high enough to bring us back up out of the $325,000 hole we're in. Oh, we are climbing. And actually not all that slowly. We'll see. 284. 264. 243. Uh, that's not as fast as I would like. I don't know if we're going to make it. This could have been worse. Much, much worse. But, as it is, this dinosaur only has a sprain. That's a relief. Oh god, did it break? It broke the frickin' fence again. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, I might have to raise money by selling him. Oh, and now we're losing money again. That's it. Okay. We're going to load from back when I last took a break. That's a long time, but that means I've got a little bit of time that I can, you know, head that off now that we know to expect it. However, this is also probably a really good time to call it for the night. It's 4.30 in the morning. I need to get some rest. So we'll just wait till this gets here. I'll make a fresh save so that it's the most recent one. And when we continue next time, that's the one we get to. So let's save... We're going to overwrite, and we're going to go find somebody we can go throw a raid to. Thank you, Goofball. Let me get my list of awesome people up. Now, just a reminder, tomorrow's Tuesday. I don't stream on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, so there won't be any streams for the next couple of days, but I will be back on Thursday. And... It's worth noting that Thursday is kind of a special occasion. Uh, Thursday is going to be stream number 2,500. So that's going to be fun. Also kind of breaks my brain a little to think just how many times I've gone live. Um, <laughs> Who do we have online this evening? Bunny Tokyo is online doing some stream raiders. Oz 90s Kid is playing some Donkey Kong Country 3. I Trey is doing first Metal Gear Solid playthrough, although she's got her category that she's streaming under switched over to music, so she might be wrapping up her stream right now. 
Tea with Mandy is on. She's playing some more Monster Hunter Rise in preparation for the new DLC for that game that's coming out soon. Sarah Key is playing Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. And that's about it for this evening. So if any of those sound good to you, streamer or game, let me know in chat. Otherwise, I'll just go with my, you know, I'll, I'll go with my gut. Now, if you do make recommendations, it, I cannot guarantee that it will dictate where we end up going, but it will certainly influence where we end up going. So if you do have a preference, don't be afraid to speak up. Let me just go over the list again real quick. Bunny Tokyo is on playing Stream Readers. She's part of the Stay Cozy stream team that I'm a part of. Oz 90s Kid with Donkey Kong Country 3. iTray is on with Metal Gear Solid and or music. Probably music at this point. T with Mandy is playing Monster Hunter Rise. And T with Mandy is the team leader of the team Stay Cozy that um, that Bunny Tokyo and I are both part of. Sarah Key is playing Kingdom Hearts. And that was it for this evening. Uh, the problem is nobody's speaking up and Any oh yeah, it looks a little shark uh, a little bit strange, Annie Shark. I'm just wrapping up. We're choosing a place to go raid. Maybe I should. Um... No, it's not working. Okay. Uh, oh, it worked. Okay. Yeah. So I quit out of the game. We're just uh, trying to find a raid target. And I'm not sure where I'd feel like going. Nobody in chat spoken up with a particular preference, so... Maybe Oz. It's been a bit since we've gone and visited Oz. Let me load up his stream here and see what's going on over there. Unfortunately, nobody that I know is playing a game like that. Otherwise, that would probably be my first choice as well. There was no nomming of humans today. We did have a Tyrannosaurus break loose. That was kind of exciting. But he just kind of left the paddock, sat down, took a little bit of a nap, got tranked, and got moved back into the paddock. So I'm not sure what was up with that. There you go. Uh, all right, I think, yeah, we will go raid Oz. He's been a good friend of the channel for a while now. He's a pretty chill guy. I think if you like my kind of content, you'll probably enjoy his quite a lot as well. Uh, he's playing Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Uh, it might sound boring, but it was pretty exciting to be there in the moment. Let me just get you his link here. Oh, it's 90s kid. There we go. Yeah, and it got it right. Okay, let me get you guys the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if there are emotes from other Twitch streamers that you'd like to use, or if there are other Twitch emotes you want to use, just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Oz's channel, see what he's up to. Like I said, I will not be streaming tomorrow or Wednesday. I will be back on Thursday. Don't know exactly what we're going to play on Thursday. It's kind of anything goes Thursday. But whatever it ends up being, it's going to be good. We might do some more of this. We might do some Satisfactory. We've got lots of other games on the go. So it'll be a good time, no matter what it ends up being. Uh, for now, let's go see how Donkey Kong Country is treating Oz. And I will catch you guys over in his channel in just a few. And in a few days back here as well. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll catch you again real soon.
Bye for now. Hopefully, I can just kind of circle around the island here. Because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway. Which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or, I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. May I have your attention for a moment? Please welcome our newest follower. Eld will have a comfy seat prepared in just a moment. I don't know, we're doing pretty decently so far. I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. Um... road with dragon skeletons everywhere. Okay. Let's take out the mind player. I'll help however I can. 